Welcome to the Applied Biosystems Tech Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. Genotyping single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs, using Applied Biosystems TACMAN assays is very well established. But have you heard about copy number variation? Let's talk about it. Copy number variation, or CNV, is a type of structural variation that occurs when the number of copies of a particular DNA segment deviates from the expected number of copies found in a reference genome. These CNVs can influence gene expression and can be associated with specific phenotypes in diseases. Copy number variation covers approximately 12% of the human genome and includes deletions and duplications. Applied Biosystems TACMAN copy number assays offer a targeted approach that combines high accuracy, specificity, ease of use, and sample throughput to validate copy number changes or screen large sample sets. So, how does all this work? TACMAN copy number assays are duplex experiments that use a FAM-labeled target assay and a VIC-labeled reference assay in the same well to quantify small-fold changes. The reference assay targets a gene of known and stable copy number. For example, the RNA's P gene is often used as a reference target for human samples. It has been shown to be present and stable at two copies. To determine copy number, a relative quantitation analysis is performed between the unknown sample and a calibrator sample, from one of which the copy number of the target gene is known. The sample is combined with both assays and master mix and then run in quadruplicate in the real-time PCR instrument. Let's look at an example in which the target gene is on the X chromosome. In a male sample, we should find a copy number of one for that target. A baseline subtracted cycle threshold, or DCT, is determined between the two assays. In our example, the unknown sample has a DCT of 1.5 and the calibrator a DCT of 0.5. We then subtract the DCT of the calibrator from the DCT of the unknown. Next, we convert the value to a relative quantity and then multiply the relative quantity, or RQ, by the copy number of the calibrator, which in this case is two for RNAs P. Aha, a copy number of one. Wasn't that easy? And no messy standard curves to deal with. Thermo Fisher Scientific offers free software that will do all of the analysis for you with the exported data from a compatible instrument. The software provides statistics to help evaluate data confidence and can calculate copy number even when a calibrator sample is not used. So there you have it, a complete workflow solution for measuring DNA copy number variation in a precise quantitative fashion. Whether you need to quantify copy numbers of important pharmacogenomics genes, such as CYP2D6, or you're investigating copy number variants underlying cancer, Thermo Fisher has the reagents and tools to drive your research. Go check them out at thermofisher.com CNV. You can check out more Applied Biosystems TAC Talk videos on our website at thermofisher.com slash TAC Talk.